hey guys welcome to this new part in this part basically I am going to show you how to write filter query that means you can add full text source so you will have a source box based on the source criteria you will be displaying the details or items okay so I am going to create new project project part 4 then in the project I need this JS file okay then I need this contents over here okay so first of all I want to add some bootstrap classes so what I have to do is I have to add a division that's a class and class name is um, container this is a bootstrap class okay then what I have to do is uh, inside of the container I want to take one more division oops class which is row then inside of the row oops inside of the row I want to take one column for search box and another column for the list items okay so oops so division oops, division class um, call let's say what um, sm3 for search box then division class sm9 for the list box okay that means um this is these are basically bootstrap classes i mean bootstrap divides the whole page into 12 columns so i am going to take three columns for search box and nine columns for the you know the list of items okay so in this case I am using SM I mean these are basically device type so SM means a small devices or for example I want to add column for extra small if it is extra small I want to take the whole for uh, 12 columns so I mean so if you are not familiar with the bootstrap right now you can write these classes you have to look at the bootstrap classes I have uh, I have other tutorials for bootstrap you can look at that tutorials also but for now you can keep it as it is okay so in the in my bootstrap tutorial I have discussed these bootstrap classes in details okay now let's go to the browser and let's see how it is displaying into the browser okay it is displaying as it is because we don't have any columns over here so what we have to do is we have to write source and input so in the input we need ng model ng model equal query okay now let's see what oh this is basically part 4 and we need to run the project first time before I need to select the browser yep 
so as you can see that we have a search box over here and we have a items over here all the items over here okay or you can keep it separate from the um outside of this then you can see items are over here okay now if you source you need to I mean what if you write some criteria here based on the criteria you have to filter it okay now this is our turn how to filter that queries AngularJS makes that filter query very simple so only thing you need to specify in the repeat what is filter filter what query query means this model filter based on that ng model okay then let's see so if you have moto you can see I pressed only mo mo then it is displaying the data based on the criteria okay let's say nexus any x u s so it has only this item but fortunately the motor item has also next you can see it is matching here that's why it is also displaying that those items but if you are specify more specific nexus so it is only matching this nexus as items okay similarly moto you can see only motorola is displaying okay oops but great if you notice one thing you can see the item is showing two but still the total number of phone is three that means what it is not going to be changed so this is your homework you have to find out how can you change the total number of phones based on the criteria okay that means what how you can display the land based on the criteria so this is your homeworks if you can't find out you can write in the comment box or if you have the answer write in the comment box and I will verify your answer okay so in this lesson you have learned a lot of things and day by day you are learning more and more what you need to do is you need to practice it properly make some other examples and use these criteria or these I mean directives in your application then you will have a good lesson okay so thank you very much for watching this tutorial if you have any difficulty as I said before please write your question or comment in the comment box if you want to give me any feedback you can even write in the comment box okay so see you soon in the next tutorial till then bye